Hi, I'm Mike Lundlum, Sports Director of WLUC-TV6. When I'm in Marquette or in the Garney or anywhere else, I watch Cat Chat on catchattv.org. Hey everyone, this is Mike Hanold with your Wildcat Sports Update. The women's swimming and diving team completed the GLIAC Championships in Detroit on Saturday with 212 points, which is good for 8th place. Wayne State won the meet with 901.5 points. In Nordic skiing, NMU hosted the Central Collegiate Ski Association Championships in Ishpeming on Saturday. The men took second in the 10K Classic with 77 points. George Cartwright led the Cats with second place finish with a time of 27 minutes and 9.9 .9 seconds. The women took first in the 5K Classic with 82 points. Christina Gillis led the Wildcats with a second place finish with a time of 14 minutes and 35.1 seconds. We'd like to give a congratulations to Sven Feldheim, who was named CCSA Coach of the Year. Congratulations, Sven. The women's track and field team traveled to Lake Superior College in Duluth on Saturday. Catherine Angeli won the 55 and 200 meter dash with a time of 7.45 and 25.86 respectively. Brooke Granquist won the long jump and indoor pentathlon with 2,872 points. Bailey Franklin won the triple jump and 55 hurdles with a time of 8.63. With 8 For your Wildcat update, I'm Mike Handled. Welcome back. Joining me now is Bryce Burge to talk some NMU basketball. And Bryce, we'll start with the men's team who scored a huge win over Grand Valley State on Thursday. It was a great win. It started out with a great performance by Mark Renelik. 33 points again. He's averaging above 25 points for the last eight games, which is always a great thing to see. Uh, ultimately, it accumulated into an 83-80 to 80 victory for the Wildcats. Uh, the team shot 50% from the floor, and uh, it was a great win over an opponent like Grand Valley. This is the first time that we've swept them in the season series uh, this millennium. And when you see a team like Grand Valley fall to a little guy like Northern, it's always good to see. Unfortunately for the Cats, though, Bryce, they weren't able to keep the momentum going on Saturday. Yeah, Pete, the momentum was really on the other side with Ferris State. They just gotten off a bad loss up in Houghton to Michigan Tech, which isn't the best team. And uh, they played with a lot of fire and passion. They have defeated the Wildcats 90-76, to and it really wasn't even that close. Uh, five players had double digits for the Bulldogs. Uh, Keenan, their center, they ha he had a double-double um, throughout the game. Ellis had tried doing different things. He had benched all five of his starters at one point uh, to try to just get something different going in. And that worked out because Austin Rowe had a big influence at that point. Um, but it's really hard to beat a team like Ferris when they're doing so well this year. In fact, they're actually third overall in the GLIAC, which has just kind of had this giant mess all of a sudden in terms of the playoff implications. Because Finlay, Grand Valley, Ferris, and Saginaw Valley, they're pretty much set. Um, LSU and Hillsdale, they're at 10-8 and eight right now. Uh, in the fifth and sixth spots, and technically they can be bumped out, but it's not very likely. And then you have the the big problem, which is Ashland, Northwood, Wayne State at eight and ten, and then Northern and Tech at seven and eleven, uh, all just one game apart, fighting for two spots. Uh, Ellis has said a couple of times, uh, especially on the radio show this last week, uh, that. Um, this is uh, going to be a fight where it comes down to multiple tiebreakers, most likely. So it should be interesting to see because there's such a, such a big issue with, with all the tiebreakers. Like, we win over Northwood, but we lose against Ashland and Wayne State. So This week, Bryce, the teams hit the road for matchups with Hillsdale and Finley. These are two big games for both schools. Um, for Hillsdale, on the men's side, they're running the tables right now. And they've set up a pretty good run that nobody thought they would be able to do. But Northern really has to go in and beat them uh, because it looks like nobody beats Finlay on their home court. Finlay is tied for first in the GLIAC. They're the defending national champions. Uh, they haven't lost their home court since 2003. So you have to at least get a split in defeating Hillsdale, which thoroughly tromped, uh, tromped upon us. Uh, that you know you have to get that win uh the women's team however uh they need to go into finlay and win without a without a doubt uh finlay 
can really do some problems for the Wildcats on the regional rankings right now because they're leading the GLIAC South. Finlay looks to be kind of a shoe-in for the NCAA playoffs too, so uh, it should be interesting to see. Well, Bryce, our intramural basketball team played this past week, so we're going to wrap up the show with some highlights from that. <laughs> 